Well guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a video where I'm gonna break my record and shoot under par with one club. So the previous record on the channel is I shot three over with a seven iron. Today, we're shooting under par. Yeah, I said I'm shooting under par with a six iron only. So, set up the first tee and let's go. Here we go, right down the middle. Let's go. <laughs> 145. You no, know, back pin, tough pin, but you know, I think it's a perfect six iron. All right, so if y'all are wondering why, why do a one club challenge, well, there's actually two reasons. One, honestly, I just need to have more fun on the golf course. It's hard not to have fun when you're trying to figure out how to play golf with a six iron. And number two, I need to work on my creativity and shot making. And this, like you saw on this, this hole right here, 145, I got to hit six iron. Normally, that's a nine iron. So I got to figure out how to hit a 140 yard shot when the max is like 180 with this club or 160, 185, whatever. So I got to work it in there, peel a cut, hit one easier. Anyway, so it's going to work on my shot making creativity, something that is a golfer. I need to work on. Now, I might have hit that about 180. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's it's I'm I'm really excited for today. Ooh, okay. About 40 yard shot. Not the greatest of lies. Not the easiest shots with the uh, six iron, but the idea is gonna be landing it short, running it up there, um, kind of getting it going up that hill. No, 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 no. Oh, dang it. You didn't even get to use the back cam. Dang it. Yes, we got to use the back cam. Tap in par. Also, how about those two up and down? One and two, even par still. We're not gonna talk about this tee shot. I mean, as you can see by the follow through, just super late and kind of uncommitted. My, my alignment didn't feel great. And you know what, anytime you have those, sorry, anytime you have those thoughts, just back off. But I didn't do that there. Idiot. Also, this hole number three, so you guys know there's hazard front right. Ball above my feet. If I get a little lazy and make the same swing as I did off the tee box, we're going swimming. And shooting under par is all but basically finished. Yes, let's go. All right, so here we go. Hole number four, 140, about the same yardage as hole number one, air mill that green. So what we're gonna try to do here, aim a little farther left, try to hit a little bit higher and a little more cut. Hopefully those two things will take about mm, 10 yards off um, of that prior distance. Oh, I landed on green, I heard it. I heard it land on green. Pretty solid though. Oh, yeah. Pretty solid. Ah, dang, it did land on green. But I mean, again, the line is good, just gotta take some of that power off. <laughs> oh, you can only laugh those off. There is no justifying, like, oh, you know, misread that, oh, you know, did awful putt. Literally pushed it from the get go, it felt all. But hey, that's the good thing about this exercise is like you figure out some faults I just gotta be smoother and more trusting on the greens because you, hey, you're gonna get exposed if you have some bad thoughts bad tendencies Oh <laughs> Hole five next All right, it's that time of year that everyone has been waiting for the NFL season is officially here And what better way to kick that off than an exciting deal with DraftKings Sportsbook new users? All you have to do is bet five dollars in NFL wagers and you instantly receive $200 in free bets. Let's go. That's right, DraftKings Sportsbook is giving new customers $200 in free bets if they bet $5, at least $5,
on any team. Plus, with same game parlays, you can combine multiple bets from the same game to give yourself a chance at even bigger winnings. And for those of you who don't have Sportsbook in your area, check out DraftKings Daily Fantasy. They've been around a while and they're always innovating new ways to win some cash. Now here are the two games that I will be betting on. First up, we got LA versus Buffalo. LA's coming off an insane year, but I'm gonna put five on Buffalo because why not? Next up, we got the hometown team. Carolina versus Cleveland. Definitely putting $10 on Carolina. I mean, I feel like they're gonna have a solid year. All right, thanks so much DraftKings Sportsbook for sponsoring today's video. Now go download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, use promo code BROSGOF, and any new customer who bets $5 will win $200 in free bets. All right, and the link is in the description. Now back to the video, let's go. Sometimes you lay up to a perfect yardage. We got 185 to a front pin into the wind, so it should be a perfect smooth six iron. That was nice. There we go. There we go. <laughs> if you're still watching this video and you're not a subscriber, subscribe to the channel. It's free, it's easy, it helps me out immensely. Like the video, it helps for the algorithm. I know you hear that said a lot, but it really does. And all the subscribers and the support that you guys have shown over the last couple years, thank y'all. Really and truly, you guys have been amazing. It's pushed this channel along to way further than I ever thought it would make. So. You guys, amazing, thank you, Nux. Now, we're one over par, we have four to go. We're ahead of the, the, the channel record pace, but I wanna shoot par better. It's possible, it is possible, I promise, I think. <laughs> hey, how big was that putt right there? The same putt that I missed on previous hole, and this, is, this can be transferred to real golf, is I missed a four footer by a mile, had the same putt, and know what I didn't do? I didn't freak out, like, oh my gosh, I gotta do the, no, I, I stuck to my routine, I was like, hey George, stick to your routine, trust your routine, the stroke might not feel good, but you're gonna look at your spot, you're gonna take it back, and you're just gonna hit it. Now, did the stroke feel good? No, but I firmly believe it went in, because I just stuck to my routine. I know I said that a lot, but it's it's key, it's crucial in golf. Now, have you guys ever wanted to see hole number six, play with a six iron in entirely slow-mo? Well, <laughs> you're in luck, because it's coming now. <laughs> saw that that was too good of a putt to not go in and i know it wasn't all slow-mo but most of the hole was slow-mo well two over three to go not ideal but it's not done yet i will say today i'm learning some shots around the greens that i, I mean i can't tell you last time i hit bumper on six irons it's actually feeling pretty good so if i ever want to use maybe like an eight or nine iron around the green i feel much better also thanks DraftKings sportsbook for sponsoring um today's video and a little kind of disclosure of a peek behind the curtains is like sponsors like them allow me to keep doing what i'm doing on the channel like i'm going to indiana tomorrow seven or eight hundred dollar plane ticket plus food expenses i mean we're looking at 1500 bucks plus paying an editor plus paying everything else so it's like it's expensive to do these trips and you know not to mention just the day-to-day -day camera equipment with the channel and so like i'm not trying to get rich i'm not trying to stack piles in the bank account no i want to like grow this channel and partnering with companies like that allows me to keep doing that keep making these spontaneous trips to indiana to follow wesley for four days and so really thanks drafting sportsbook but that's that's kind of a look behind why i do the ads because i really want to keep growing this being able to like a practice my golf game which a way painting an editor and a videographer sometimes allows me to like actually get better at golf. So a little disclosure there, but we have about 170 here, a good solid three quarter six iron downwind. So it's gonna be, I don't know, not not really a great number. <laughs> Sorry, when I said 170, uh, meant 187, which is actually pretty good high cut six iron. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Right in the center. Right in the center. All right, heading to hole eight. Um, 
I've got two questions for you guys. What are what are some things you guys want to see on the channel? Kind of ahead into the fall, the kind of the game planning for the following year. Like, what do, what do I want to do for my? Anyway, what do you guys want to see? Number two, how is y'all's golf game? Like, I, let me. I want to hear the comments. I'll read some comments about you know how your golf game is. You know where you are, how you're playing, what you improve. I just want to hear and get some updates on from some of you guys. That how are you guys doing? How's the golf games? And what do you guys, what do you guys want to see? Whoa, shaky GoPro. All right, 128, pin up front, high slicer. Sit, oh gosh, sit down, dang it. Oh, such a beautiful strike, beautiful curvature, just about 20 yards too long. I mean, 15 yards on the back of the green, but oh. Alright, 160, y'all know what I need. I need birdie. Guess I'm going six iron. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't resist. We gave ourselves a chance. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? I don't even hit it that close with like an eight iron or like my normal. Maybe we're onto some. If it's really into the wind, take a lot more club and just try to play like this, like really low, smooth, like big fade. We, hey, we might learn something today. But this is to break the channel record, folks. Let's freaking go. Ah, I mean, hey, I hit a good putt. I cannot be mad. I played these nine golf holes in three over par only using a six iron. There's been many times where I've played that that bad with all my clubs. So, but anyway, guys, y'all go try this on your own. Go try this format on yourself and you'll you'll learn a lot about your golf game. Like today, the little six iron I hit here on 18 um, or nine, a three quarter into the wind, bigger fade instead of like trying to hit like a punchy shot. I might implement that like when I'm playing real golf. Um, some of these bumping runs I hit might implement that more when I'm playing, maybe not with a six iron, but an eight or nine iron. And like, I got the feel off those shots. And the most important thing that I'm gonna take away today is I had a lot of fun when I'm playing my best is when I'm having the most fun so days like this are a good reminder a good like hey this is what golf's all about have some fun enjoy it and it's gonna help you out in the long run guys I know I rambled I'm sorry but hope you hope you did enjoy this video subscribe to the channel stay tuned I'm catching a flight up to Indiana to watch Wesley final corn Ferry tour event to see whether he gets his card or not <sighs> stay tuned I'm nervous you guys should be too see y'all